Hello and OMG y'all, welcome back to my channel where today I have such a fun video because I finally have the Morphe Matte Mega Matte Lipsticks review for you. So if you wanna see which combos I have for you today, then go ahead and keep on watching. The amount of comments I have gotten saying, where is the Mega Matte review? Where is the Matte review of the Morphe lipsticks? I did not think that I would get this many comments because I had filmed a Morphe lipsticks video, basically like Morphe must have lipsticks. And I go over like the cream lipsticks, the ones that I really love. I'm a huge fan of Morphe lip liners and lipsticks. So I had said in that video that I would get to filming a review of the Mega Mats because I have them. And the video didn't do too good when I first uploaded it. And now it has done well. And the reason why I did not film the mats is because I just figured, okay, maybe people just don't care. But it looks like those of you who have commented care. So here is the matte video. Now, I couldn't find a lot of my mega mats, but I have three of them right here, plus another matte one from Morphe that I want to show you all. So if you are not familiar with what the mega mats are, they are basically mega matte lipsticks from Morphe that are made to be matte. Now, if you're someone like me, I cannot stand lip gloss. I only have a select few that I like. I've even done a video on the very, very select few that I like. I just don't see the point in lip gloss. And I see more and more people coming out with lip gloss. And I don't care who says their lip gloss lasts all day. It doesn't. It really doesn't. Like the whole day. Lipstick does though. Matte lipstick can really last throughout the entire day. So comment down below if you're somebody like me where you just cannot stand lip gloss. I don't get the hype over lip gloss to me. It only lasts for so long and then throughout the day it moves your lip liner and things of that sort. And it's just super annoying. I would rather do matte lipstick. So I have the matte lipsticks right here and this video, my lips are going to be so raw towards the end of it. So Please subscribe to my channel just because I'm doing this video and I'm going to be ruining my lips for you all. So I have some lip liners right here that I'm going to pair with the Mega Matte Lips. Now, let's go ahead and get into the first one right here. I have, it's in the color Commit. This color right here is my absolute favorite nude of all time right now. I use this color every single time I do my makeup, whether I do a full beat, whether I do a natural beat. This is what it looks like. So the difference between the Morphe regular lipsticks versus the Mega Mattes. The Mega Mattes have this beautiful gold right here. This one you could tell has been used. So this is what this one looks like right here. It is a very like taupey nude. It reminds me of a darker version of Morph or of MAC Cosmetics Myth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all what this lip looks like without lip liner and with lip liner. Now, I do not recommend not wearing lip liner, but some of you are brave out there. Some of you like wearing lips without lip liner. I don't recommend that with these Mega Mats just because I feel like these are more lipsticks that are geared towards pouting in the center of your lips to give your lips a very plush, big look. But let me go ahead and show you all what this one looks like. Now, I have a little bit of lipstick on already. Let me take it off. Now, when you put them on, I'm pressing pretty hard on my lips. It's because they're matte. They're a little creamy. They don't feel like a liquid lipstick where it feels like your lips are peeling and dried off. This has a little bit of cream to it, so it's a little bit more comfortable. This is why I don't like doing it without lip liner because you don't really get an even look. Looks like. Let me get a little bit closer. I feel like I'm a little too far from the camera. Okay, so this is what Commit looks like. I absolutely freaking love this color. I do not love it though without lip liner. Like, this is a color you need lip liner with, but I want to show you what it looks like in its true form. If you are someone who can get away without lip liner, this is what it looks like. Again, it's a matte lipstick. So when you're wearing it, it feels dry but it also has cream in it, so it's more comfortable to wear. I hope that makes sense. Let me see if I can put some lip liner over it. Actually, no, it's scratch that. I'm just gonna take it off and then apply the lip liner and then, because I wanna show you how I apply it in the center. I'm going to be using the Morphe lip liner in the color Honeymoon. This one right here got all jacked up. I don't know how, but I have to like shake it to get the lip liner out.
And bring your hook line in more towards the inner corners. Just try poking this out. If I sharpen it, it's going to waste it because this lip liner is like broken. All right, one second. So I had to put on the Morphe lip liner in the color Honeymoon, a little bit weird because it's just getting to the tail end of it. I need to get another one, but I wanna show you what Commit looks like in the middle of something with more of a brown lip liner. Now these are more on the nude side. So these are the colors I'm going to be going over with you all. And supply it towards the center. And then tap. This is why this is like legitimately one of my favorite colors ever. Now, some of you may think it doesn't look as different with lip liner, but to me, it makes all of the difference. I just need that definition in my lips to give me a better placement with this lipstick. I absolutely love this one. This is the type of color that you can also use a mauve lip liner with and even a dark brown lip liner. So if you're more on the deeper tone um, for your skin, you could use more of a deeper brown lip liner and pair this in the center and blend it in and you will get more of an ombre lip. This one, again, looks really pretty with more of a deep mauve, almost like a pinky tone lip liner. If you want something that's more on the pink side, but you don't want something that's a full pink lip. I do that a lot when I want something that's more towards the mauve tones. But for an everyday look, this is something that I rock all the time. I have worn this lipstick so many times in my videos. I absolutely love the color Commit. If there's one lipstick out of all of these mega mattes that you need, I would definitely say Commit because it is so versatile. It's comfortable. It's wearable. And it last a very long time like even if you're eating or drinking out of like a cup you don't get that much lipstick on your actual cup which is nice let me show you oh my god there's makeup in my cup you can barely see that there's anything there. So that's kind of cute. We did a little bit of a slurp test. So anyways, this is what Commit looks like. So let's move on to the next Mega Matte. I wanna go in alphabetical order. So let's do the color Honey. Now I just re-upped on the color Honey because Morphe had the matte lipsticks on sale for like two bucks or something super, super cheap like that. This one is a little bit darker than Commit. I'm gonna show you guys Commit. Why is this one not in the really pretty packaging? Huh, that's weird. Anyways, Honey is a matte one. Maybe it's not the Mega Matte, but it's a matte one. I could have sworn it was a Mega Matte, but anyways, you could see the difference. The one in the color Honey is a little bit deeper, just the slightest bit deeper. I love the color Honey. If you want something that's less on the new side, less on the nude side, more on the taupey side, then this one is it. This one reminds me a lot of Ah, oh, what is the one from Matt Cosmetics? Teddy. It's like, I think Teddy from Matt Cosmetics. Um, and it's also in the color taupe. It's similar to the color taupe at Matt Cosmetics. So let me go ahead and take this one off. Okay, so we've taken off commit. We're gonna go ahead and apply honey without any lip liner. Y'all, I just realized that this one is not a mega matte, but it is a matte. I'm sorry about that. I got it confused because I cannot find my mega matte in the other ones that I have, but I have two more like super matte ones to go over with you. So at least we're throwing in more of a creamier one. So if you want a matte lipstick from Morphe, but you cannot handle like what it feels like to have like a dry lip essentially, um, and you want something that's a little bit more comfortable, then steer towards their regular mattes, not their mega mattes. And that is what this one is. This one is in the color Honey. This one you could definitely get away with without lip liner because it's deeper than Commit. Commit just reminds me of one of those where back in the day when MAC was like the head honcho of cosmetics brands and we were all wearing Myth without like a lip liner and we were just rocking like these very light lips. That's what that looks like to me without lip liner. This one's a little bit different. This one you could definitely get away with on its own. But for me, I like a little bit more definition to it. This one it has more of a cool undertone to it. Commit is more of a warm undertone, but a lighter color. This one is a cool undertone, but it is a little bit darker. So let's take this off. So pair it with some 
lip liner and go from there. So for lip liner, I'm going to be using the color Frenchie. This one is a, I would classify it as a nude, but it's also more on the mauve side as well because I want to give you all a mixture. So I'm pretty sure you all can see that my method with lip liner is I line the bottom, I do the sides and the top, and then I shade in the edges now, or the, <laughs> the edges, the outer portions of my lips. The reason why I do that is it gives me more of a pouty, full lip look. You could definitely take your lip liner all over and do that, but I'm someone who likes more of a pout, more of like a bigger um, lip look. So that's what it does for me. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this in the middle so you could see. This one you don't have to press as hard because it's not a mega matte, it's a regular matte. This one is just perfection, like it is so pretty. Now, I really like this lip look with this kind of eye look. I really like this color lip combo if you're doing more pinky eyeshadows, more on the mauve tone side. But overall, you can essentially with this color, honey, you can use any lip liner you want. You can use something along the lines of Ice Latte from Kylie Cosmetics. You could use Cork from MAC. You can use um, Frenchie, Coffee and Kissy, um, Backseat Love, Sweetheart from Morphe. Those are all really, really good lip liners. Anything that's in the nude to brown spectrum looks really pretty with this one as well. And even if you are to do a deeper mauve, something that is darker than this lip, that is absolutely beautiful as well. You don't need a pair of lip gloss with these at all. This one already has like a cream, a shine to it. You could tell the difference, I feel like, between the first one. The first one had basically no shine. This one, because it's not a mega matte, it's a matte, has a little bit more of a cream base to it. It's a little bit more comfortable where you definitely feel it slipping and sliding. If we take a drink here, you do see a little bit of lipstick, not too much. Very comfortable though, very wearable. You will have to touch this one up throughout the day because it is more of a cream, so it slides off, but with the Mega Mattes, not as much. So the next Mega Matte I have right here is in the color Main Squeeze. I love Main Squeeze as well. It is more of a deeper um, beige tone, but more on the light brown as well. It's a beautiful gold packaging right here. I need to get a new makeup wipe right now because the ones I am, the one I've been using is just all full of lip stuff. So let's go ahead and take off Honey. So if you don't have Honey, get Honey. Honey is really, really pretty as well. Even though it's not a mega matte, it's worth it to have. M mix up your matte collection, throw in a regular matte. You'll love it, trust me. All right, so we're gonna put on Mean Squeeze without any lip liner. And this one you have to like warm up by super sliding it around because it's super mega matte. All right, this is what main squeeze looks like. So I hate doing lips without lip liner. To me, it's just sloppy, it's not defined, but this is one that you can get away if you're a little bit more precise than I am with putting on your lipstick. This one is more of a deeper brown. So this would look really beautiful on more deeper skin tones as well, or if you're more looking for something deeper to use in the fall, which is right around the corner. I know we're kind of just in summer, but I'm super excited for the fall because when we're in June, that means next is July, and August for me means fall. So once August hits, that's when I break out all the fall looks, the fall colors, everything. Anyway, super excited for the fall. I love the fall. I love that time of year. This is that perfect lip for the fall. 
if that is what you're looking for. For summertime, this might be a little bit too deep. In my opinion, I wouldn't really wear this during this time of year just because it's a little bit too deep for what I want. But I feel like with a tan and really pretty bronzy eye and this with it, it would look really, really pretty. So I need to grab more of a deeper lip liner so I could pair this one with it. And then we will, I will be right back. One second. I wanted to use the lip liner Coffee and Kissy from Morphe just to keep it in the Morphe family, but I cannot find it. I think I use it up or it's in one of my purses. I don't know. I can't find it. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Kylie Cosmetics Coconut Lip Liner, which is basically a brown. So if I could find it, I would use something Morphe, but right now I don't have something that's deep enough to go with this lipstick from Morphe. So that's the only reason why I'm throwing in a Kylie lip liner. So this one might be an exact match to the color. Let's see. Yeah. This is a really pretty lip combo as well. So the color coconut, if Kylie still has it, I'm pretty sure she does. If it's still available online, it's not sold out and you pair main squeeze with it, you get basically like a one-toned look and your lips still look nice and puffy and pouty and everything of that sort. I wanted to use Coffee and Kissy from Morphe. It is more of a deeper tone lip liner, but it has more of like a auburn, orange, like deep, deep orange undertone. It's really, really pretty. It would have offset this really nicely, but this is basically like an exact match to Main Squeeze. Now, Main Squeeze is something that you could pair with a deep brown lip liner. You could even go as far as that. This is not a lip a lipstick that's obviously very light. It's more on the deeper tone, but it's still very beautiful, very suitable for a fall winter look. You could get away with a summer look. In my opinion, if you do more of a bronzy look like I was referring to earlier, but I really like colors like these because they really do make your lips look more fuller. I feel like the darker the lipstick, the more fuller your lips look, especially if you still do the lip liner and on the edges you shade it and you still apply this in the center, you still get that pouty look. You could use this lipstick for an all over look as well. It's really pretty. It's very versatile. It pairs with neutral eyes, deep tone, um, smoky eyes if you were to do something like that. It's just an overall really good lipstick. So the next one I have right here, it's a matte liquid lipstick, but it's not a mega matte. But I stumbled upon this one because it was on sale at Morphe for only a couple dollars. It's in the color True Story. I ended up buying three of them wherever they went. Why is it that when I buy lipsticks, I have no idea where I put them? Like, what is wrong with me? Let me see. Is it right here? Oh, thank God. I have one that I haven't used right here. So we'll go ahead. And actually, I bought two of them. I thought I bought, I bought three. I bought one for my mom. That's why I said I bought three. But it comes in their, you know, regular liquid lipstick um, duo component, the Dofa applicator right here. I'm going to show you all what it looks like without lip liner. Now, this one is a very, very drying liquid lipstick. It reminds me a lot of the Kylie one. So if you like liquid lipsticks, but you don't like how uncomfortable the dryness feels, what I did, which is, it's not, you know, reinventing the wheel here, but I applied chapstick before onto my lips and then applied this over and it was very comfortable and it lasted most of the day. So if you want something that's a little bit more comfortable and don't really want the effects of a super matte liquid lipstick, that's what you would need to do. You either need to apply chapstick before application or after application, which isn't anything new, but I'm just recommending it for a little bit more of a comfortable look. So here's True Story without any lip liner. It's so pretty.
So this is true story and it's drying down really, really quick where it feels like that dry liquid lipstick, like super, super dry. I love this color as compared in comparison to the other ones because this one is a cross between main squeeze and honey. This is like the one in between where it still has a warm undertone, but it's not as dark as main squeeze. It's a little bit darker than honey because it's more on the warm tone side than on the cool tone side. Now you can wear this lip without lip liner, but I just feel like when I wear liquid lipsticks without lip liner, my lips look thinner and I don't like how the edges of my lips look. I feel like a lip liner gives me that roundedness and just that outline that I need to just make this look more Ooh la la. So let me go ahead. I think I'm just going to apply some lip liner over this lip. And let me see, because the Morphe one I have right here is too light as well. Let me see what I have. One second. I grabbed the color Sweetheart from Morphe. I'm just going to go ahead and do the edges because this one is almost the same color as True Story. Just a little bit deeper and a little bit on the cooler tone side. Okay, let's add a little bit more of True Story in the center. You could see the slightest contrast between the lip liner and the actual liquid lipstick. Now, when you are trying these on for yourself, if you want to put on the lipstick first and see if you like how it looks without a lip liner, you could do that and add lip liner on top. For me, because I like putting more of the lipstick in the center, that's why I'd rather do lip liner first than lipstick af after. But you totally don't have to do that as you can see what I just did with this liquid lip. Now that lip liner gave it the slightest definition that I needed for me just to feel comfortable and more confident in the shape of my lips. But you could see that with this specific color and true story, you also need more of a deeper tone brown or a deeper tone taupe color lip liner. I used again the color, is it Sweetheart? Yes, sweetheart. I use the color sweetheart. I get so mixed up because I have so much stuff in front of me right here. So this is what they all look like. These are the matte lipsticks that I recommend from Morphe Commit. Honey, Main Squeeze, and True Story on my jams. I get a lot, sometimes a lot of questions saying like, what's your lip combo? I typically stick to nudes. I don't really venture out into reds. I do have reds. I have mauve and pinks that I do like to wear as well. So I'm thinking of making an updated video on more mauve tone lipsticks. Some of them are from Morphe. If you want to go ahead and see that, comment down below. But anyways, I hope that this video was very informative for you all. Please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Click that bell so you get notified notified of every time that I do upload a video. Please remember to always spread peace, love, and happiness. I will see you all in my next video.